Hey guys, so I went to Jerry's Autorama today and I got a huge haul of stuff. Keep watching to see all the goodies that I picked up today. So my local Jerry's in Nashville is moving from their location in Antioch to 7-Eleven Main Street in Nashville, Tennessee. And I am so jealous because they're moving to Five Points and Five Points is like where all of the art stuff in Nashville actually is. I live off of Weston where there is no art stuff at all. So I am super jealous. So I went to go like scavenge the carcass and basically pick up some goodies since everything was 20% off. So I picked up a couple of different packs of Strathmore creative cards because I do these really pretty little illustrations like the succulent video that you guys get to look forward to. And I thought, wouldn't they make beautiful cards? So I picked up a couple of their cards with the beautiful deckle edges. I got the large uh, greeting card and then the smaller cards. I also picked up a pack of Bristol artist tiles and they're 300 series so they're not the nicest but I thought these would be good for like small marker illustrations since they are six by six they're ready to go I picked up another um, Maruman watercolor book I use these for my fountain pen waterproof test I picked up a small ceramic bowl for color mix like large color mixing so this is going to be great for mixing up skies I picked up, by recommendation, Windsor & Newton Colorless Art Masking Fluid. Um, I have tried multiple different brands and they've all been garbage, but I've told this one is pretty good. So, you know, I figured I'd give it a shot. I picked up some pink FW Pearlescent Liquid Acrylic. You guys have seen me use similar liquid acrylics on this channel loads and loads of times. And if you're looking for a demonstration, I highly recommend you check out my Art Snacks vs. Sketchbox series where um, since they both boxes sent this type of um, ink in the past, I've reviewed it pretty thoroughly. And speaking of plugs, let me just take a moment to plug my sponsor, Ink Drop Cafe. It is a collective for creatives, and I am an affiliate and a member and a founder of Ink Drop Cafe. And you can check Ink Drop Cafe at inkdropcafe.com. And we have uh, loads of amazing web comics that if you enjoy my art, if you enjoy my illustration, I am sure you will enjoy the comics over there. So please do check out inkdropcafe.com. So I also picked up a bunch of unfilled half pans because I'm always sending my friends watercolor samples and I go through these like constantly. So I thought that would be great as well as a couple of zipper bags. I picked up some Strathmore 500 series illustration board and the Jerry's in Nashville was kind enough to cut it down to a usable size for me. So I had them cut it down to a bunch of nine by 12 pieces that need to be cleaned. And then this leftover sort of um, strangely shaped piece that I may try to cut at home, but Strathmore series uh, Strathmore 500 series illustration board is so thick I don't know that I can cut it. So I picked up a bunch of Derwent Intense watercolor pencils or rather I'm sorry they're not watercolor you guys always call me out on that when I make the mistake of calling them watercolor. I guess they are technically a type of ink and they're water resistant once they've dried so you know the distinction can be an important one. Oh, I picked up two golden yellows. I guess I'm sending one to my friend Sam. But these are great and I love them. And I have quite a collection of them. I'm working on filling in the holes based on need. I picked up some Prismacolors for sketching as well as some Prismacolors for color pencil and illustration work. So, oh, a very thin. Got caught in there. All right. I picked up some, I'm gonna grab them all. I picked up two pit pins in sort of skin tone complementary colors, as well as a purple Prismacolor art marker, which is basically a brush pen and it is alcohol marker proof. And these are India ink, so they're not alcohol marker proof, but they are waterproof when dry. I picked up 
for Prismacolor since my Copic collection is pretty much complete for the colors that Copic is able to offer and I am finishing up my Blit collection. I've been working on the Prismacolor collection in Copenhagen Blue, Imperial Violet, Violet Dark, and in Indigo Blue. And I find that Prismacolor really offers some of the best yellows, violets, and intense blues of any alcohol marker on the market. And I say this as somebody who has reviewed about 20 different alcohol marker brands over at natosoup.blogspot.com. I picked up three Vanish erasers. These things are great and very inexpensive, as well as a core in French ultramarine blue. And the interesting, uh, interesting thing about core is it doesn't use gum arabic, which is yellow. So their blues are very intense blues. Also picked up permanent rose in Soho, and I know some people have opinions about Soho, but I uh, have been doing watercolor for several years now, and I use Soho, not as my exclusive, but I do use it, and I've been very happy with the results, and I'm even doing a light fast test that's been going on like a month and a half, and I haven't, and it's in su direct sunlight, and I haven't had any significant fading. So I think some of those some of those claims are based on someone they respected said it, and now they're just gonna parrot it forever instead of doing their own research. I also picked up another little reed pen. Two mats for nine by 12 illustrations, because I have two nine by 12 illustrations that would look great in mats, and some large self sealing bags. So that was my Jerry's haul for Nashville, Tennessee. I paid about $148, and that is with my Jerry's member 10% discount and my 20% off for moving. So I really got a lot of stuff and I look forward to showing you guys what I do with this stuff. If you enjoyed this video, do make sure you check out Ink Drop Cafe, our sponsor. They're not a paying sponsor, but as a member, I did say I would do my bit to promote them. And do check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash soup for information on how you can help me continue to make great art content content for you guys. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy these sort of videos, do consider subscribing. And if you have any questions or if you'd like to see me demonstrate something specific so you can better understand it, please let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye guys.